months of persistent rumors, we finally got confirmation today that Rascal Flats would be making their highly anticipated comeback. This after the band abruptly broke up back in 2020, announcing their farewell tour that unfortunately would never come to fruition due to COVID-19. The band's now in a very different place, but just a few short years ago, it's safe to say all of the members of the band were frustrated. Last year in a conversation with Savannah Chrisley on her podcast, bassist Jay DeMarcus opened up about the circumstances that led to that abrupt retirement from Rascal Flatts. DeMarcus opened up about how things were at the time in the group. He said, I knew that all of us were frustrated, so what Lavox said in an article, I don't think is a real reflection of how it really came down. They're referring to a statement released by Lavox around the time of the group's departure, saying that Joe Don Rooney had left the band, which ultimately led to their decision to retire. DeMarcus pointed out that one member of Rascal Flats or another had quit the band at various times during their career when tempers had flared, but he said that really, Joe Don Rooney was the first to say that he was unhappy in the group. He said, I think Joe Don was the first one to be brave enough to put it out there, that he was tired of the way things had been the last few years. So he shared with us that he wasn't sure he had the energy or the emotional energy to deal with some of the things we had been dealing with on an ongoing basis. At the time, Joe Don had been going through personal struggles. He had been arrested for DUI in September of 2021. DeMarcus said, Of course, Joe Don went through his very public debacle a couple of years ago. He's better than I've ever heard him in 10 years. I mean, he's 19 months sober, and he's enjoying having some peace and learning how to live again without his addiction. I'm really, really, really proud of him and where he's at right now. Even last year, DeMarcus made it sound like he really hoped that Rascal Flats would reunite. He said, In a lot of ways, I feel like I'm still mourning the loss of the Flats, even though there wasn't an official breakup. Most of my adult life, it's all that I've known. Getting on that bus. And going out and singing to people and seeing what your music does and how it's touched people is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's better than any drug you could ever be on. And to have that stripped away from you, not on your own terms, was a very painful thing. And to not have known March 7th of 2020, when we were in New Jersey doing our last show, that that was the last time the three of us would be on stage together, makes me really sad to think about. Thankfully by now, Joe Don Rooney has turned his life around and he's back on the right path with Rascal Flatts announcing their triumphant comeback. In a statement earlier this year, he revealed the things he had gone through before realizing he had to make big changes in his life. He said, I was drunk and I was so far gone with my life. I was completely out of control and finished with trying to fight the tears, depression, and anxieties that had spun me out in a way I've never experienced before. My drinking had been an issue for many years, and as they say in AA and treatment, it's a progressive disease. I am living proof that the progressive nature of drinking can really ratchet up, and as I grew older as any adult, my drinking grew worse. Rooney would be arrested after a DUI accident when his vehicle struck a tree, and he spoke about how that night changed his life. He said, Fortunately, and I truly believe this, God led me into that tree safely enough to not kill me, and luckily nobody else was involved and I didn't injure or kill anyone. I could literally be in federal prison for life right now. This is the reality of what my life had become. That event led me to treatment for my alcoholism for four months in the beautiful mountains of Utah. When I first got there, I didn't want to stay. I was ashamed of myself. I was so full of fear and guilt that it took me all of those four months to really start understanding treatment and the AA way and how to best utilize these new tools that I downloaded from the amazing clinicians, counselors, and other patients there. My life has been changed forever, and I'm grateful for the change. And now, Rascal Flats have announced their reunion for a 25th anniversary tour following that breakup back in 2020. They announced the big news in a statement, writing, In 2020, we announced the farewell tour after being on the road extensively for 20 years. To put it simply, we needed a break. Then COVID hit and our plans came to a screeching halt, like the rest of the world. Since then... We've been able to revisit our unique and special experience as a band, and we're ready to get back out on the road again. They added, It's hard to believe that next year will be the 25th anniversary of Rascal Flats, and that felt like the perfect time to get back in front of the fans who have given us so much. The Life is a Highway Tour celebrating 25 years of Rascal Flats is kicking off on February 13th in Evansville, Indiana, going all over before concluding on April 5th in Jacksonville, Florida. 
with special guests Lauren Elena and Chris Lane. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. and you can learn more at rascalflats.com. That's your latest update from CountryCast. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.